In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the probability mass function, which is also typically abbreviated as PMF. Uh, we're going to be putting out some examples in Python with a few different distributions and libraries. The libraries that we're going to be utilizing today are going to be NumPy, SciPy, and then we're going to use Matplotlib to take a look at some of the graphs. Some of the different distributions we'll be taking a look at are Uniform, Poisson, Binomial, and also Geometric. With this out of the way, I want to go over a little bit more information about the PMF before we do start coding. All right, so as promised, a little bit more information about the probability mass function. So the PMF is a function that gives the probability that a discrete random variable is exactly equal to some value. Now, the keyword here is discrete, right? It's, it's a type of variable within statistics. You uh, either have something that's discrete or continuous. Now, I've covered this in greater detail in a video, uh, but to make things easy for you guys, think of discrete as an integer, right? Uh, only a, a certain amount. So like a, a classic example of a discrete one would be number of people in a classroom. You can't have half of a person. Uh, continuous, right, is gonna have a decimal value associated with it. So you can think of something like a height or a weight. Now, if it is continuous, you cannot use your PMF. Instead, you should be using PDF, and I'll have a video on that on the channel as well uh, shortly after I record this one. Now, the common type of distributions that you're going to be using your probability mass function on are your binomial, your Poisson, geometric, and your uniform. I'm going to be going over examples of each of these in this video, but just to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek before, and I'm not going to show all these, but a geometric distribution right over here. So like there's a histogram of pulling autograph cards from a baseball card pack, right? And you can see the PMF here on the right associated with the probability. And then here's another one with the uniform distribution of the histogram of 1000 dice rolls. And the probability PMF is gonna be the same on each of these specific sides of the dice, unless the dice is uh, weighted, which wouldn't be a fair die. but. Regardless, if it is the same, right, your PMF is going to be the same for each specific side. So, again, the big thing to know, PMF, discrete. If it's continuous, use PDF. With that out of the way, though, I think we are uh, ready to start coding. So, let me take you along a few different examples of the probability mass function. All right, so let's bring in our imports. So, import numpy as np import matplotlib.pyplot plot plot as plt and then from scipy stats import binome Poisson geom and rand int this should be all of our imports for the video and uh once this loads, we're gonna start off with example number one. So example number one, we're gonna look at the binomial distribution. Now you can think of the binomial distribution as a success or failure with multiple trials. An example that I like giving out is YouTube subscribers. So let's say someone has 100 videos on their channel. Uh, each video has 1,000 views and the probability of getting a subscriber is 2.5%. So that'd be a good example of binomial uh, because you have the success or failure of someone that is going to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Which, by the way, if you are watching this video and you aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. So let's uh, jump into an uh, example over here. So we're going to say n equals 10 and our n value is going to be the number of trials. And then p is going to be 0 0.5 for probability. So 0.5 like that. Awesome. And then all we have to do is set our K value. So we're going to say K equals NP dot arrange. And oh, we'll pass in here, we'll have it zero. And then we'll have N plus one. And then uh, let's plot this out. So what I'm going to have over here and all the examples I'm going to use in this video, we're going to use stem plots. So feel free to change it up as you want, but I'm going to use stem. So uh, what I need to do too is create our PMF. So I'm going to say PMF equals binome.pmf. And what's really cool about SciPy is each of the distributions 
have PMF associated with it. Um, so you can just do dot PMF, makes it super easy. Uh, pass in our K value, right? Pass in our N value and pass in our P value over here. Run those, and then now we can plot. So what we'll say is PLT dot figure, and I'm gonna use a lot of this code uh, for other examples as well. Uh, we'll go over here and do fig size. So fig size equals, pass an A, we'll pass in six. PLT dot stem, we'll say K, we'll say PMF, and we'll say use line collection is true. All right, and then what we'll do next is PLT dot X label, we'll say over here, number of successes are Y labeled is going to be probability our title guilty dot title is going to be binomial pmf f and uh guilty dot grid true and we'll show this so guilty dot show and taking a look at this right zero through 10, it makes sense why five is the most common, right? So if you think about it, once again, let's say we had 10 over here, right? And our probability is 0 0.5, right? That's where we have five on here with the most uh, zero and 10, at least likely to happen. And uh, yeah, let's keep moving forward. So now let's look at a Poisson. Uh, Poisson is the number of events happening in a fixed interval of time. So let's do that. So example two, two is going to be our Poisson. Get to going. So let's set our lambda, which is the average rate. So lambda Poisson equals three. All right. And then we'll say K equals NP dot arrange. That's in zero to 15. And then let's set our PMF. So we'll say PMF over here equals the Poisson PMF, Poisson dot PMF, pass in our K value. Then we can pass in our Lambda value that we have in over here. And what we'll see next is we'll plot this out. I'm gonna grab this again and figure good K, PMF, use line, good. Then we'll say over here, Poisson. And then we'll say number of events. And you can take a look, right? So three, once again, that's our average. So we expect this to be essentially the highest. And you can see the number of events does decrease over time. Increases up here, three, and then decreases. Again, this is the probability of an exact event occurring, right? Uh, where CDF, I've shown you in that video, how it's cumulative, it tends to increase over time. That's why this one decreases. All right, let's take a look at our next example, which is gonna be geometric. So example three, geometric. And geometric is essentially a number of trials till your first success. Let's take a look at that. So we'll set our P geometric. So geom equals 0 0.3. So by 30 cent per probability. And then uh, let's set our PMF. So PMF equals, well, let's set our K value first. So K equals NP dot range. We'll go 115. And then let's set up our PMF. So PMF equals geom dot PMF. In K, S in Geom. All right, so we have both of those. And again, we want to plot this out and look at it and see if it makes sense. So we'll say geometric, the number, trial number of first success. And 
everything else should be the same. And we should expect 0 0.3 to be the first one, right? So with geometric, you're gonna have the highest probability at the beginning and it's gonna decrease over time. If this doesn't make sense, check out my full video on the geometric distribution. All right, and uh, lastly, we'll take a look at uniform. So uniform is equal likelihood of results. And uh, typically you'll see like a uniform distribution with random number generation and uh, covered extensively in the uniform video, but uh, this will be example four, example four, uniform. And what we'll do, all right, so let's code this out. So we'll say first our K value is equal to NP dot arrange. We'll pass in one to 10, right? And then we'll say, well, actually let's do one to 11 on here. So we have our 10 results, all right? And set our PMF, so PMF equals rand int dot PMF. And we'll pass in our K, then we'll pass in our first value of one then we'll pass in our value of 11 over here. And then what we're gonna do next is plot this out. And what you'll see is all these are gonna be the same, right? And we'll change this out over here. We'll say uniform over here. For X label, we'll say value and probability. And look, all the same. Another pretty common uniform one, right? Flipping a coin, heads, tails. Another one would be rolling a die, right? One through six, all sides are gonna be equivalent. So uh, just to recap again, probability mass function, probability of an exact occurrence that's gonna happen. It is only used for discrete. So make sure you utilize that. So we used a binomial example over here, right? So you can see how that specifically worked. And then we start off the video by taking a look at a uh, binomial. Uh, what I will say too, is it's super easy to calculate the PMF for your distributions uh, by using the SciPy package. So make sure to use that and each type of distribution you can utilize the PMF with, um, assuming that it is specifically discrete and you wanna calculate the PMF, right? Uh, so we looked at the binomial example, right? Where it makes sense where we have five is the most common occurrence, right? Because we looked at 10 as our N and our probability was 0 0.5. And then we took a look at example of our Poisson, right? And right number of events, we wanna have three as our most common, right? And then we took a look at our geometric which the probability starts at the highest and then decreases over time. And lastly, we finish with our uniform distribution where the probability is the same no matter what the value is. Hope you guys found this video on the probability of mass function helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. One of our goals here is to hit 100,000 subscribers in 2025. Only way we can do that is by uploading at least three high quality data science videos every single week. Now, if you want to continue to learn statistics, I linked a few different videos down below in the description that I think you should check out, but I also have a playlist right over here that I recommend.